Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Today's been a good day, a great day, a fantastic day. But what's more important, today is your day. Today I have a very special video and I want to be um, showcasing one of my personal energies or deity I work with daily. Santa Morte or Most Holy Death. About five years ago, I kept having repeating dreams of a lady coming to me. However, she was wearing a cloak, but I could not see a face. And she was dressed all in white. And as I researched, I found out that this person or this entity or this uh, deity that kept repeating, repeatedly showing herself to me was Santa Morte. I had no idea. I did not know anything about this saint. So I did some research. Just a little further and a little further. And I will share with you the one of the last dreams that I had. I was in Mexico. And it was a group of young men there, and I was holding a Santa Morte statue. And they spoke in English, and they asked me, why did I have her? And I told them, because she had came to me in a dream, and she told me, I am yours. You will be mine. I will protect you and your family. So then they took me to uh, this hotel. And in this hotel was an older uh, Mexican man with a sombrero. And he looked at me and he says, yes, she is your golden mother. And from that dream on, I consider her as my golden mother. A lot of people are scared because they look at her like the grim reaper well first of all some people don't even know that this is a feminine energy they look at her and say oh he and i said no this is a feminine entity this is feminine energy motherly caring warm loving that's who i know her to be now she do have a bad side to her however most moms do if you do something to their children or me like me my grandchildren my grand youngins you have to come through me and she is the same way i am a devotee i can tell y'all that she have done some things in my life that will blow your mind if I told you. Um, I don't I don't know. I didn't call her. I didn't pray for her. But she came to me and I accepted. And it was one of the best, wonderful decisions I've I've ever made in my life. Um, this is going to be a two-part video. So tomorrow or the next video that I'm going to be posting, I'm going to show you how to set up her altar. Now, I'd just like to give you a little bit of background about Santa Morte. Santa Morte, some say, started with the Antecs and the Mayans. And they collided or combined Christianity with that whole concept because they had a deity 
over the underworld. So the way that she was depicted was the skeleton and and um, she might have had a hat on or a, a head, different head covering. But when they collided these two uh, beliefs together, it came up as Santa Morte. Now, there is a few things that I think is important to tell you. And I want to tell you basically what her what these things is that she's holding and how they're symbolic or or what she's wearing and how how it's symbolic or how she's looking and how that's symbolic first of all if you notice she looks like a skeleton yes that is symbolic of death and the underworld but yet, if you look at her, you don't know if she's black or white, if she's old or young. And that's one of the things that is touching to me. If she would have beautiful, creamy brown skin, then some people would think that she would just be one that they could honor her. She does not have a skin. She does not have a look. She is a universal saint. And just to keep, I keep calling her saint because that's what we know her by, but she was not canonized by the Catholic Church. Be honest with you, most of the Catholic um, practitioners or believers look at her almost like as a negative entity. However, there is a lot of Catholic practitioners or um, observers or worshipers that actually honor Santa Morte. So that's why she looks like a skeleton. Next, she's holding a scythe. The scythe is symbolic to cutting life's cord. But if you are a devotee then this is symbolic that she will cut anything negative out of your life that don't need to be there evil uh, negative witchcraft sorcery next she is wearing a cloak and the cloak symbolize time past time in the future it covers her time will cover you whether you in this world now the next world time is different because it's eternal or it can be internal so that's what the cloak is now this is another thing that i think that is very important some people say that she was a actual nun when she was in human form and this represents what nuns used to wear but it looks more like things that the monks used to wear this is all speculative i don't know so there is some people that think that she used to be or she could have been a sister Next, you might see Santa Morte holding a crystal ball. Can you see it? The crystal ball represents the future. If you are one of her children, especially a lot of her children have the gift of being readers or workers um, so she helps facilitate that gift also a little bit more about the cloaks if if you notice if you know anything about her at all and if not I'm gonna tell you it depends on what color her cloak is and it represents what she will bring to your life or help you to manifest 
For instance, if you see her in red, red is for matters of love, matters uh, almost like the candles of um, magnetism, um, passion. But if you see her with gold cloak, this is prosperity, abundance, wealth. Or you may see her like this one. Can you see? She have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. Now, some people associate that with the seven African powers. But that is not so. But the colors represent different things so you would have prosperity matters of love you have wealth you have health you have justice you have success you have friendship so it all depends on what she wears also white remember white is the universal color that's for healing cleansing purification and black Black is for protection, but yes, if on that other dark side, if you're a practitioner of that, which I don't like to really talk about, then you may have her wearing a black cloak. Now, do you have to buy five different statues with five different colors? Absolutely not. You can use one color. However, there are different prayers to recite for the different things that you're trying to manifest in your life, all right? And another thing, she usually have a owl. Now on this, let me see if it's on this one. No, she have a money bag on this one. If you can see it here, it's an owl. And the owl represents wisdom, knowledge, intelligence, Seeing in the dark, she will watch you. Even if you're in amongst darkness, evil, negativity, Golden Mother will watch you and protect you. Now, there are different types. There are little um, statues. There are big statues. There are great big statues. Um, this one has money. Money. Help bring prosperity. And also, sometimes you'll see her with a mirror to help us look inside of ourselves to see what things we need to improve, some things we need to put into ourselves, some things we need to take out of ourselves. So Santa Morte is a very, very, very good entity and energy to work with. There is some horror stories there is some Santa Morte um, devotees that's really um, extremists. They do some things, but in every practice, in every religion, you can find extremists. Um, her day is Friday. She likes yellow candles. She likes apples. She likes tequila, rum, coffee, money. She like cigars, cigarettes. Um, there was some other uh, perfume, jewelry, rosaries. She also have her own prayer of the rosary that you can look up. Uh, she is wonderful. Now, the only thing about Santa Morte that I will say. Oh, yes, flowers. The only thing that I will say is she deserves respect and she wants respect that's not much different than any other saint deity uh or spirit guide we should always give all of the even our ancestors we should always respect them now, of course, oh, let me show you this. Because in the last video, I talked about Veve's. This is her Veve. And as you notice, I put it on her yellow candle. The candle do not have to be lit all the time, but on Fridays. 
you light a, the yellow candle you give her a few cents or dollars and you recite her prayer and I would like to recite her prayer and I'll say it slow so that you can um, write it down if you decide to use it you can also listen I know I have statues in most of my videos however you do not necessarily have to go out and buy or purchase a statue you can use a picture that is printed out off your computer and it works the same as far as energy goes the pictures the statues are reference points tools nobody really knows how any of these deities how any of these angels how any of these um spirit guides really look but it gives us a, a point of reference all right so here's one of her prayers that i love mother of impossible causes i ask thee shield me against snares and traps of my enemies you never abandon or forget those who invoke your aid in times of difficulties and with your miracles of defeating and conquering all obstacles i place this most impossible favor at your feet and whatever my favor is you must say it three times and i invoke your total protection from all crime harm and evil amen but just like i say there are several prayers if you're praying um for um finances to improve then you look up Santa Morte, but unless you speak another language, type in English because most of her prayers are in Spanish, unless you want to translate. So this is just a little video about my golden mother, one that have showed up in my life and sometimes she shows off y'all but she holds a special place in my heart and whenever i pray to all of my deities i always ask approval from my higher power as i would always want to do things to to please and that is appropriate to him so this is my small video about Santa Morte. If you have any more questions, you can hit me up on the link or my comments. And do not be scared of this entity. She is a loving energy. And tune in tomorrow. View tomorrow's post or video because I'm going to show you just how i set up my golden mother's altar now i have one i've had her altar for five years so that's my personal space if you get a chance to come in you will see it but however i'm not going to take pictures of that but i'm going to show you how you can set up your altar for santa morte it's been a good day. It's been a great day. It's been a fabulous day. But what's more important, today is your day. Don't forget, give me some comments. I read them. I'm loving them, y'all. Some thumbs up and ring the notification bell for the next video. Have a great day. And I appreciate you. So, kisses!